manufacturers are dedicated to doing the right things for their employees. So here's the challenge to the Biden administration and Democrats and Republicans in Congress. Let's turn the tables and let's make it easier for America to out-innovate China. I'm also hearing a lot about the need to facilitate more research and development in enterprises like INCOG, and, and that can be done through the tax code and make those provisions more generous for startup businesses, which are really the key to economic growth these days. You know, after tax reform in 2017, manufacturers, we kept our promises and we invested in our teams and we invested in communities all across the board. The NAM is determined to get Congress to restore those incentives for R&D and to get business tax rates and the tax structure back on track to allow us to compete globally. Let's lock in those competitive rates for small businesses so that you can plan more confidently for the future instead of facing a staggering tax increase in the year 2026. We have an obligation to do better than that. Our key priority for manufacturers this year is pushing Congress to pass a bill that reforms the permitting process to build that new road or that new power plant or for manufacturers to build new facilities. If Washington could just cut through the bureaucracy and streamline processes, we could do a whole lot more for this country. In fact, the NAM is launching a nationwide campaign to tell regulators to protect manufacturers and not change these standards before fully implementing some that are already on the books. All manufacturers ask is that in Washington, when it comes to policy, don't stack the odds against us. That's our message to Congress and to federal agencies. For so many manufacturers in America right now, there are more open jobs than there are people to fill them. One of the many ways we fill those jobs and keep our economy moving is welcoming immigrants into our workforce. Nearly 800,000 manufacturing jobs are open right now. 800,000. So we simply can't wait. Our country will be stronger if we provide legal avenues that give people a chance to start new lives in America. You have to think culturally about a very different mindset. The new world is about positioning yourself to be marketable and change, and then capitalizing on the benefits that business can bring. If we sell what we're for, as opposed to fighting what we're against, I think that's a pretty inspiring vision for most people. We're not going to be a nation that does well if we're not the home to attract the best and brightest and to attract people who just want to work. They want to build a life. And if you have those kind of people in your country, you're going to be so much better off. Just look around. You chose to be here because of opportunity. You inspire others with your hard work and your dedication to the values that have made this country exceptional. Free enterprise, competitiveness, individual liberty and equal opportunity. And that, my friends, that is our story. History shows us that as long as manufacturers lead the way, America and our democracy will remain that beacon of freedom and hope for people around the world. And we can raise the quality of life for all Americans. The NAM will never stop fighting to make you more competitive.